हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ जिग एनालिसिस टुडे तुषार एंड आई हैव डिसाइडेड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू डाइसेक्ट द भारत एंड कैप फॉर यू एंड इफ यू आर अमंग द पीपल हो ले गो द रोड्स नीड टू बी बेटर द टू मेनी पॉट होल्स फिक्स द रोड्स फर्स्ट देन इंट्रोड्यूस हैपनिंग नितिन गडकरी एडमिटेड ऑन रिकॉर्ड रोड इंजीनियरिंग इज अ प्रॉब्लम समवेयर रोड इंजीनियरिंग इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम इट विल बी फिक्स इन ड्यू टाइम आई थिंक and we are at a position where we take all the solutions we get and i think bharat and cap is a step in the right direction and there cannot be any bad that comes out of it it's only good from here on yeah so tushar kindly can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen what bharat and cap is so before we get into the details of bharat and cap there's one thing that you said that it's a step in the right direction and it's one of many so the way i see it bharat ncap is indicative of a very holistic sort of approach to road safety passenger safety and everything that we're going to be getting into when it comes to crash safety in general because like we saw in the presentation it is literally affecting our gdp but bharat ncap is a concept that is new but it's not something you're going to be unfamiliar with because it is the bharat new car assessment program like we had with global ncap and in fact bharat ncap itself the whole crash safety program it has been created curated developed with inputs directly from global ncap and subsequently starting or ending in december 2023 the safer cars for india campaign that global ncap was running is going to come to an end Correct. basically going to merge in with the bharat ncap it's going to become a sort of mass of global body that's going to be joining a ncap euro ncap asean ncap it's all going to be coming together Now specifically with us in Bharat NCAP this is a program that categorizes or focuses right now on the M1 category of vehicles simply put it refers to vehicles that can seat up to 8 people with a gross vehicle weight of 3.5 tons or less okay. the most important thing here is that unlike what we've seen with a couple of global NCAP tests Bharat NCAP is going to focus on the base models only. It is going to be focused on the most affordable variant of any car that you can buy in India. Right. So Bharat NCAP comes into effect from the first of October, twenty twenty three, and I want to set a little bit of context as to what is it that is actually being tested. Hmm. As we've seen with global NCAPs, all the cars that undergo a crash test. under the bharat ncap program will get a safety rating yeah. and it's the same as we've seen with global ncap you will see a adult occupant safety rating yeah. and you will see a child occupant safety rating no matter what car is being crash tested you will see individual scores for both what are they doing to give these cars these stars mm-hmm. so primarily there are three tests yeah. the first is a frontal impact test yes. you then have a side impact test and then there is a pole impact test and this pole impact test comes into effect only when a car's scoring 3 4 or 5 stars right so in general there are a couple of numbers that you'll see right now on the screen is kind of uh, complicated as it should be that uh, there are certain minimum scores you have to hit to get a 1 star a 2 star a 3 star a 4 star a 5 star and there are certain prerequisites when it comes to features that a car must have for it to even be eligible for a 3 4 or 5 star crash safety rating so that will include esp it will include seat belt reminders and there are other features that will come into play that your car has to have it just for an opportunity to even try and get at least 3 stars what that also means is that there are cars currently on sale that have been awarded a full 5 star rating by global ncap in what we can now call slightly more lenient crash test they they will not score 5 stars again uh, at least with the current state that they are sold in and the current testing protocols because for 3 stars and above the bharat ncap mandates 6 airbags it's good to have esc right so stuff like that there are cars that have five star ratings but they won't necessarily get five star if tested as is today Correct. so obviously you'll see a lot of manufacturers scrambling to update their products uh, with more airbags with more safety tech and that can only be a good thing correct and it's not like 
the declaration or announcement of Bharat NCAP is going to have them scrambling. This is obviously information that the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers has shared among different brands yeah. well in advance. So they've got this heads up, so they can't act like they're being caught off guard. Not if the sort is going to happen. But I think one curiosity point, a point of curiosity rather that comes in is how on earth are these cars even being acquired in the first place? Right. And there, there is the most important sort of underlying thing here that may not be seen as a net positive by a lot of people is that the Bharat NCAP is not mandatory. You do not have to have a B NCAP rating for your car for it to be legally sold in India, at least for now. How the car is acquired subsequently is that a manufacturer volunteers for it. So at the time of the announcement of Bharat NCAP, in fact, around 30 cars have already been enlisted for the test. So what will happen is that, let's say I am Tata Motors or Mahindra and I'll say that I want to get the Nexon facelift tested, I want to get the XV400 tested, so I'll nominate that car. And then afterwards, there will be a pool of cars available that the Bharat NCAP executives will come and inspect. It can happen at the production lot of either manufacturer or it can happen at a dealer lot. But the point being that much like it was with Global NCAP, the pool has to be random. This is just to ensure transparency and making sure that it's not like I can develop one, two or three cars specifically only for So no crash. safety gate will happen. Exactly. That is the main thing that we're trying to avoid here. And once that is done, the car will be crash tested at the appropriate facility with both Bharat NCAP executives as well as the OEM itself. So that one can always check the other, so that ensuring that there's no foul play. Correct. Once the crash results are out, they are assessed, they have discussions, feedback is given, and then the results will be published. What I'm picking from that is that, A, the test is not mandatory, right? So it is voluntary in nature. But what I think needs to be absolutely mandatory is the sticker, right? Uh, if you are getting your car crash tested, that sticker is obviously going to be there, but I'd love it if... A sticker that says not tested is mandated as well because it it will genuinely help the buyer make a more informed choice Correct. right uh, the second point that I want to raise is has to do with numbers that Nitin Gadkari put out yes two and a half crores is what it costs a car manufacturer to crash test a car abroad that comes down to a fourth it comes down to 60 lakh yeah right that's just 25% so it effectively eliminates two smoke screens that manufacturers have very conveniently hidden themselves behind. A, oh, it's too expensive to send cars abroad to get it tested. Yeah, especially if you have a massive model range. Yeah, you don't have that excuse anymore. Second, manufacturers don't get to say, oh, they're testing as per global protocols that don't apply to India. This one's called the Bharat NCAP. <laughs> Literally, right? Correct. And... There is another sort of important thing that this unlocks now. Yeah. Because I think a lot of times when we're looking at any program or any initiative taken in India, we're looking at it purely from the India perspective. Correct. The fact of the matter is India is a colossal export hub for both two-wheelers and three-wheelers and cars. I'm not that sure about the three-wheeler, but at least two-wheelers and cars. Yeah. So definitely there, there's a lot of importance there. And a lot of moves, you have to look at it from the perspective, like let's say emission norms, right? BS 6.2 coming into play. Hmm. If you have an export-centric OEM, you don't want that manufacturer to have to make one set of cars for India and yeah. another set for export markets. Yeah. This helps them come up to the global standard. So whatever car you're making, you can make it both for India as well as the world. I, I love what Nitin Gadkari said. Convince me or, or, be, or convinced be convinced by me. By me. And in hindsight, him steamrolling that decision with respect to emissions in that case might not have been viewed as positive by a lot of by a players, lot of yeah. OEMs but today it is ensuring that every car meets a global emission standard yeah. and that is the vision here with respect to safety exactly you yes he's basically forced manufacturers to up their game in terms of safety currently it's voluntary yeah. right but it it forces manufacturers to think it also tells them hey if i do this right if i get the safety rating in place my products global and to add to that once you've mentioned the whole cost centric thing about it right we as a country are always the absolute best when it comes to making sure that we get as much out of as little as possible right up to our space program so this case because we've seen the cost difference coming into play 
now you can start seeing how bharat ncap doesn't have to be limited to bharat alone it is right now it is focused on products that are being sold in india marketed in india but on a global scale once you start seeing the cost structures working in our favor bharat ncap can do the exact same purpose or fulfill the same purpose that we had with natrax that is being an international testing body for products that are being sold across the globe so somebody who set up an oem in africa in latam they can send their cars to us somewhere down the line and this can actually become a business unit a money generating sort of uh, endeavor being introduced over here wherein we can play a much bigger role on the global context correct so the idea is to build a global facility that tests for global standards so that whatever it tests is not limited and specific to the indian market alone but this is the long term vision that you know that we are talking about i want to talk about two interesting angles that come into play because of these safety ratings right i've been a marketing student so so the marketing aspect of it is is very very interesting to me and i'd love all you mba boys out there to tell me what you think about this so here's the thing i crash test my car okay it scores really well i will market the hell out of it yeah but there's a flip side yeah so if i don't get a good rating or if i don't get the car crash tested at all yeah that's my importantly. bigger worry if i say i do not send i will not send i will not nominate xyz model hmm the public immediately knows something's up so essentially what the whole idea behind this initiative is to give the public more knowledge that okay we are now giving you this information we are eliminating a sort of uh, any transparency gap that may have been there we are helping you make an informed choice because even the sticker itself design wise is very similar to the energy efficiency rating that we see with a lot of electronic devices so it's sort of simplifying and making it more consistent on that front as well the second aspect that i wanted to tackle was oddly enough something i studied again insurance hmm. insurance is always about eliminating or at least minimizing risk correct with something like the ncap in place when let's say we come to a day where every single car is crash tested the insurance provider objectively knows car a is safer than car b yeah which means car a can have premiums that are lower than car b simply because it's safer so this is definitely something we're hoping to see come up and this is something they raised at the presentation itself that they're hoping to see the whole bharat ncap impact going out into various other aspects of car ownership and since we are on the topic of car ownership and the bn cap relationship one of the things that was being discussed was how do we make this more and more india centric more and more appropriate to indian driving more conditions more bharat exactly and there are two things there one this is not something bharat centric necessarily but apart from the base model manufacturers do have the option of testing another variant if they want to they can sponsor it so if you want two different ratings for two different variants that is still a possibility the bharatization of it can become a function of tests that are more focused to concerns that indian users have driving scenarios that indian users are more familiar with so for example maybe you would have two sets of crash safety ratings one for a lower speed more city centric another for highway speeds it can evolve into something like that secondly you can also have fitness tests that are coming more not in the new car assessment program but more of a car assessment program Correct. environment so if you have for example one of the major reasons why we have accidents on highways is tire burst and that's because people simply do not replace their tires at the appropriate time or the appropriate running and that is something we've seen with the samruddhi mahamarg for example Correct. they were stopping cars that did not have good tires and this can become an extension of the bn cap program coming into play and making driving safety go beyond just buying a new car right and then there was talk of you know the ncap being more culturally sensitive now yeah. i i am not sure how to interpret that and uh, but as as a culture our driving habits are vastly different from the western world yeah. right uh, something as basic as i think we are possibly one of the few countries that actively place projectiles on the dash yeah so we have uh, idols i'm not calling <laughs> idols projectiles but in case of a crash it will become one so that is one thing that possibly can become a variable being tested for yeah. that if you have an elaborate setup of some kind some photo or some kind of religious thing that's significant to you kept on the dashboard in the event of an accident what can something like that do this is again our interpretation of what cultural focus for india can become without saying that this is what they're targeting it's just something that could come into play somewhere down the line 
So what we know for sure is that A, it's a step in the right direction. Obviously. B, it will evolve with time. Yeah. And that only means it's going to evolve to account for you know progress that cars make in terms of technology. Right now we're testing offset, we're testing side. We are going to see a day where we do full frontal crash tests. Yes. There will be rear impact tests that will happen. And then there's also talk of extending this to include active safety systems like most ASEAN markets do, right? Lane departure warning, auto emergency braking, there's talk of 360 degree vision being, you know, incorporated. So I see Bharat NCAP getting stricter and stricter over the years, which means it will become increasingly tough for a manufacturer to score full five stars. Correct. And that only means cars are going to get safer and safer. Yes. And right now, the core takeaway, if we had to end this, is that you have now got the golden opportunity to speak with your wallet and not just online. Yeah. If you're going to have cars that are being given good or bad crash safety ratings, you can make a more informed decision basis because it's not mandatory yet. As the program evolves, a lot more tech that is optional right now will become mandatory. And obviously, when more safety tech, better structures become an expectation, the most affordable cars also will get more expensive, which can make cutbacks on infotainment features or comfort and convenience stuff in favor of safety. And right now, yes, Bharat NCAP is a voluntary program, but I'm seeing somewhere down the line, maybe five, six, eight years down the line, that whole optional thing is not going to come into play. This is more of a samajjao. This is going to happen. Deal with it. Evolve. Get better. Choose better. So that is the long and short of the Bharat NCAP. Let us know what you thought about it. If you've got any viewpoints, feel free to put them down in the comments. Tushar and I will be happy to discuss them with you. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.